What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP competitive video. Today we're going to be talking about something a little different. Not a Pokemon that's good, but a Pokemon that I find absolutely atrocious in competitive play in BDSP. Now since the start of BDSP, I've been team building, you know, playing Pokemon Showdown, doing all that fun stuff. And I did this fun little thing where I had my friends give me a Pokemon that they wanted me to use from the BDSP National decks. And you can see that right here. I've got one, two, three, four, five teams made based on Pokemon that my friends gave me. And I, I just thought it was fun. Give me an idea to build a team around a certain Pokemon. And some of them even gave me some Pokemon that are kind of uniquely good in their own way. But there's one Pokemon that one of my friends gave me that was just so atrocious. I actually gave up trying to use it competitively because it was just, it wasn't worth the energy. And that Pokemon is Vespiquen. So I've got us over here on Picolytics where you can look at the stats of usage for certain Pokemon. Vespiquen is used 0.05% of the time. Now, its base stats are, they're okay. Okay, and they remind me a lot of a Pokemon that I covered recently, Glaceon, where it's, you know, kind of mediocre, you know, health, good defensive stats, and then okay attack. Glaceon, however, special attack was dr dramatically better, which made that Pokemon have a lot more going for it, especially because its move pool covered so much of what was used in the format right now. Like, it just covers so much versus Vespiquen. It, it's got okay stats, but its move pool is so small and its coverage options are so small. It just it doesn't have a whole lot going for it, especially when you take into account its flying bug typing. That makes it weak to fire, electric, ice. We got weak to flying. We got weak to four times weak to rock. Like It's weak to everything. If there is a Pokemon with any sort of coverage option, it's going to wipe this Pokemon out in no time time flat i just it, it's such a poor typing there are other pokemon that have this typing that have some viability like uh masquerade but not this pokemon so if you look at the abilities even we got it pulled up here in showdown unnerve is okay but nobody's really bringing a pokemon to run unnerve right the only time people were ever running unnerve was on shadow rider or ice rider and that's exclusively because that pokemon had the ability simply because it was two abilities in one that's the only reason people were running unnerve and swish aside from that unnerve is kind of mid it's it's not a great ability at all then again you look at the stats yes it has half decent defensive stats you could buff that up like i did with glaceon if we pull up glaceon here You can see that Glaceon has, you know, mediocre health stat, but you push that up with its defensive stats and you're going to be able to take hits left and right. The difference between the two is that the special attack is actually useful on this particular Pokemon versus going back to Vespiquen, neither its attack nor its special attack are all that phenomenal. On top of that, it's typing. Again, Glaceon is weak to fire, fighting, steel, you know, th you, there's a couple things it's weak to, but it covers so much more because of the ice types, all the stuff that is weak to ice in the format, access to freeze dry, so knocking out a bunch of the really powerful water types in the format, versus Vespiquen, it has a horrible speed, so you're not going to outspeed a whole lot, and being weak to so many different typings, you're going to just... You're going to have a bad time at the end of the day. A lot of people I see running like Destiny Bond on it. If you can get it off, Destiny Bond is something to do. I, I, I just don't see the point of running this on a team if you're using it as a suicide. Because people are running like Endure and Destiny Bond. So you, you can survive a hit and then you can lock the Pokemon in. If it knocks you out, then that Pokemon goes as well. But all they have to do is rotate. So it's, it's kind of just like a silly little tactic and then all of its other attacks just aren't super super powerful especially with this low speed stat you're not going to be doing much at all you're not going to have the opportunity to land hits because you're so freaking slow i mean you could choice scarf it you could scarf it and give it like a modest or an adamant nature to try and give it a little extra attack or special attack but Again, you're, it's just not high enough to do significant damage to be a viable member of your party. 
especially when there's just so many Pokemon that are going to take this out. Infernape, Heatran, Staraptor. Uh, there's just so many. Versus, you know, it's it's not a strong typing, but you have something like Masquerade, where you can throw this out, and it has pretty solid stats. It's got a fast speed. It's got pretty good special attack. Obviously, it's lacking in the defensive categories, but when you make up for that in speed, and you have access to things like Quiver Dance, you're going to be able to actually make a viable Pokemon out of this. Versus this guy, what are you going to do? You can't Quiver Dance. You can't Swords Dance. You can, you, there's nothing to buff this Pokemon. And the lack of speed is what's really going to kill it at the end of the day. Because when you throw this out, nobody's scared of this. If you have a Masquerain, it has some viability because of the access to Quiver Dance. It also gets things like Sticky Web. Like There's tons of things that give this Pokemon competitive viability. And it's the same typing. But this just doesn't have it. And the move pool is just not there. Like, this is all the moves it can use, and it's mostly bug, a couple normal attacks, a couple poison, but, like, the coverage is just not there to make this even remotely worth putting on a competitive team. And it was so frustrating because I really wanted to use all the Pokemon that my friends gave me, right? I wanted to use them, and I wanted to build a team and make videos around them so, you know, I could show off how this Pokemon works competitively. I wouldn't waste your freaking time trying to put this on a team. I spent a whole day building around this Pokemon, and this Pokemon never pulled through for me. Never. It was just throw it out, watch it die, throw something else out. And it's so disappointing because it's such a cool design. I really like Vespaquin. It's one of my favorite bug types in the Sinnoh region. And I it just it's such a letdown that it's so garbage that <laughs> you can't use it. And I yeah. So the Pokemon they ended up giving me later on was Persian. Also, not a great Pokemon. This person really, it really sucks at giving me somewhat competitively viable Pokemon. Uh, but Persian actually worked in ways that Vespuquen just couldn't, if you can imagine that. So, I will be doing a follow-up video on that team a little bit later down the road. But, that is all I have for this video. I just wanted to talk about this because I found it so frustrating and so infuriating that I could not get this Pokemon to work. So if you could get it to work, if you've used it competitively, let me know your set in the comment below. Let me know your move set, your EV spread, your item, whatever you're using. Let me know in the comments below because I'm curious how you managed to get this to work. I don't know if it works better in VGC. All these teams are BDSB OU singles. If it works better in VGC, let me know. But that is all I have for this video. If you found it entertaining and helpful, leave a like, smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Like I said, that's it for this one and I hope to see y'all in the next one.